Okay, hey, I'm Tom Delonzo Baker, and I want to give you a really quick summary of the 50% Better web class without, you know, do it in like five minutes for those of you who haven't been able to watch it. Even those of you who have may go, oh, this is a great summary. So here you go. So what you want to do is you want to take the body into three parts, okay, upper extremity, spine with neck, and lower extremity. And you want to test two motions in each of those areas. So for example, and you test them right side versus left side, individually you don't do like this but you go like this okay so i would recommend forward arm raise abduction reach to the ceiling make it be a whole lift up good and then test twist put your hands on your chest or your belly button hold them there and twist around as far as you can twist around oop, a little stiff there good and now do a side crunch not a side lean but a side crunch and then boom all right now what you're looking for on all this is which side or where, where are the yucky motions that don't move normal-ish? So my left rotation was a little stiff that way. That was one of them there. So there's, we got two top, we got two trunk. Two legs that I like to do are put your, put your leg all the way out first. You're allowed to lean, you're allowed to slouch, and just lift it up and compare it to the other side. That's a little harder for me. Good, and the last thing, now you might have to get on the edge of a sofa, uh, the armrest of the sofa, you might have to get on the table. You might be able to do this from really low, but many people can't. But you're going to do a one-legged sit to stand. Actually, I tell people, let's do this. Do like this, down, and then come back up. Some reason they kind of like that better. So then I switch to my other leg. I'm not touching the floor, up and down. All right? And you test those six motions. Just test them on yourself. Test them on your patients. Now what you're going to do, what we typically do, all right, we record that, all right, so any of the yucky ones that we found, we test. So I'd say to you, okay, your right upper abduction was hard, you know, it wasn't normal-ish feeling. Is that a low, medium, or high amount of yuck? Now you guys may say, what's yuck? That's why I use that terminology. I don't want it to be all this jargon. So how yucky is it? Or how hard is it? Good. Low, medium, or high? Low is a 10 to 30, higher the number, the worse it is. A medium is a 40, 50, or 60, higher the number, the worse it is. 70, 80, 90, and then a high is a 70, 80, 90, 100. Notice I don't say what is it 0 to 10, 0 to 100. I say low, medium, or high. They have three choices. Good. Once they pick medium, now they have another three choices. 50, 50 60, or sorry, 40, 50, or 60. People like that. It breaks it down into nice, easy chunks. Okay, good. So now you get a score for your top two to three issues that you found. Now they didn't come in maybe to fix one of the ones you tested. Maybe that was, you know, they have a shoulder problem and they found some more yuck doing the abduction. But maybe they got a neck issue and they go, so you test neck a little bit, you know, flexion, extension, flexion to the right, extension to the left, extension, extension to the right, bring it back, extension left, rotate. And they go, ah, oh, that hurts. Good. So now we put down their problem. Maybe they have an ankle problem. Good. We do the ankle problem. So, you know, move that around until they got it. We record that. Is that a low? When you twist it to the right, low, medium, high amount of yucky. M high. Great. 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome. We're ready. Now you've put those down on a form somewhere, okay? Awesome. Let's go treat. But we're going to treat one motion, one yummy motion on for two sets of, let's say, I don't know how conditioned or deconditioned you are, but I always say from 15 to 20 reps for non-weight bearing stuff and 8 to 12 reps for weight bearing stuff like your sit to stand. Good. Now I know I'm talking really fast, but what you're going to do, we like to start in the trunk. So pick one of those yummy motions that you liked that didn't bug you. Right, so maybe it was left rotation. Oh, so for me, my left rotation was bad. My right rotation felt normal-ish. So I'm going to do it. Two sets of 20. Really try to get in the end range, all right? Let your head be where it wants to be. You don't have to go with it. Good, because like say I've got a neck rotation problem to the right, let's just say. Well, I don't want to turn to the right with it, so I might want to leave my head here. Good, we're gonna do two sets of 20. Go at the end of the tw first set of 20, rest for whatever amount of time you need to. For non, you know, easy, or for easy ones, typically it's 20, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Start again. For legs, you might rest for 40 seconds to a minute. When you're ready, do another set of 20. When you're done, 
You're going to recheck every one of the things that was a problem for you. So maybe you had left right uh, AB ducks and you go, whoa, it was a 60, now it's a 40. You're heading to zero. All right? And then you check out, well, maybe the trunk problem you had. Wow, that was a 50, now it's a 30. Good, now you, maybe you had a leg problem. Man, that was a 60, now it's a 10. You're going to notice things drop by doing one area of the body. So now what do you do? Do the same area you did, my trunk rotation, again. And you keep doing that until you've hit as much improvement as you have, that can get out of it. And once you've hit as much improvement as you can, and you were in the center, the trunk, now go and do a leg or an arm motion that's yummy, that's normal-ish, that you found worked pretty good. Go do it now. Keep recording. Now, every time you do your two sets of 20, so once I've done the trunk, two sets of 20, I go do another set of two set of 20 or two set of whatever. Every time I'm going to recheck everything that was a problem. Do another two sets. Everything is a problem. Okay, it's starting to slow down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay, now it's not really helping anymore. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to pick legs. I'm going to go to legs and I'm going to treat legs. I'm going to find the good one and I'm going to do it for two sets of eight to 12, let's say. So I do the good one, I recheck the bad, I recheck the trunk bad ones, I recheck the arm bad ones, I recheck the neck bad one. Good, I record that down on the form, and I keep doing the leg until it gets every bit of improvement as I can. And then we say, you're done. Every session you do two areas of the body. All right, next session, do the another two areas. So you're always going in between arms, trunk, legs. Cool? All right. Now, if you want to abbreviate it even more, and this doesn't make it faster by any means, the way I just showed you actually makes it faster. But let's just say somebody hurts doing this. Sometimes it does work. Just come over to this side, and if they say, yep, that one feels normal-ish, just keep doing a bunch of these, right? You don't want to scan the whole body. You want to see whether you win. 60% of the time, you'll win doing this. That means 40% of the time you won't. You just do, do two sets of 20 or whatever to the good. Really getting into it, really getting into it. Let the whole body move with it. And then recheck it. Let's say you have a leg that doesn't lift up. You can try that. Just do that. Just the opposite of yucky. And then you do that for two sets or whatever. You recheck the bad. And you go, whoa, that's so much better. Okay, good. Do it again. Hey, better. Still getting better. Boom. Uh, slowing down, but still getting better. Boom. Okay, it's not getting any better. Good. Now you can go try another thing that's how to yucky. That's the basic summary of the 50% better web class. Yet I give you why it works and what's involved and a bunch of other stuff and you get to see it work on people. That's nice. So hopefully this gives you the incentives to say, cool, Tom, I'll play around with this right now, but I'm going to go watch that because I want the deep level of understanding. Is that good? All right, go make it happen at least if it's not just the long web class. Do some of these on yourself. Check it out. See what happens.